tutored Miss Mary's cat in English for six months, it's better than having no teaching experience at all. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Romali. I'm Romali. If it's your first time here, I'm a Jamaican teacher in China. Please consider subscribing to the channel, giving this video a thumbs up, sharing the video so it may help others. And if you are returning, thank you so much. All right, so I'm on my lunch time, so I'll make this video like super quick. Um, I received a DM on Instagram. I'm um, about intro video and I have been receiving these DMs and I've been giving people feedback on their introductory video So I decided that you know, why not? Let's make a video. All right, so let's jump right into the video Introductory video is the first thing that recruiters are going to see Well, not the recruiters the school whether it be the HR or the principal or whoever is hiring on behalf of the school so yeah, this is the first thing that they're going to see. This is what is going to draw their attention to you. This is what is going to make them take a look at your CV or request your CV to see if, you know, how qualified you are and to know whether or not they want to schedule an interview with you so you can actually get the job. So don't mind me looking down I have my notes here where are they yes about exactly what you need in your video so I've helped many persons with their introductory video it's supposed to be very simple but just spicy it should have a vibe um, I will be sharing my intro video with you guys the intro videos I did like over a year ago um, it's going to make me cringe but I'll share it with, um, with you guys. The only thing I would say missing from my video would be you know, like a smile or a personality that's more fit for like kindergarten. Even though I got, I use this video to get, the, I use these videos to get the kindergarten job. I made the video in the morning. I sent the video at the same time, and I got the job in the afternoon. So to me, the video was good. I've helped persons to make their video. They've never had any problems with the videos. They've actually got, you know, compliments on their videos and stuff like that. So I'll be sharing mine with you. It's super simple. It's nothing for you to stress about. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you're properly attired, right? Make sure you don't need to hear. Honestly, guys, I'm going to school in just this a jacket and a pa and a trap trap bottom i would say and the sneakers um when it's summer i wear like a football sh a football shorts a t-shirt and some crocs to work so it's not like you need to be in jacket and tie or you need to be in some suit or whatever no just make sure that you and that look you look nice and clean right yeah, so first, you need to state your name, your age. Yes, you need to state your age. It's good to state your age and where you are from. Now, when it comes down to where you are from, if you are not from the top eight countries like America, UK, Canada, New Zealand, and so on, Australia, then you need to say where your country, you need to say, um, like, for example, for me, I'm from Jamaica and English is our official language because many of these HRs who are hiring or the principal, they only know America, South Africa, Canada, the UK. So if you say you're from Jamaica, one of these islands, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago and so on, they've probably never heard of it. They might have heard of Jamaica, you know, with the running in Beijing and stuff like that because a lot of persons here, I know they know Jamaica. But still, you need to, if you're not from the top eight countries, then you need to state that English is the official language in your country and speak very clearly because they will assume that English is not your official language and you're a non-native speaker 
if they don't know your country and you know that's not right but hey that's them right so name age where you're from and when you're talking about your country if it's not a top eight country then you need to yeah say english is your official language next you need to talk about your degree and your tefl certificate for your degree talk about your major um for the tefl certificate or if you have tesol make sure you indicate that it's 120 hours next you talk about your experience now if you tutored miss mary's cat in english for six months it's better than having no teaching experience at all it is not a requirement that you must have teaching experience but because of all the changes in the um, ESL industry and all of those things, it is better for you to have at least a month experience than no experience. Especially if you want to get a job at a good school. I don't mean a school that you'll come here now and then you'll have some problems later or, you know, it's just not good. Or if you just want to go to training centers. If you haven't seen my previous video about where you can work, check that out. It will be somewhere here or here or in the description box. Check that out so you can know where you can work and what you're comfortable with. Now, if you want to work at a kindergarten, you need to have experience. A good kindergarten, you need to have experience. Otherwise, you will get some jobs that are kind of poopy or you will get jobs at training centers. I don't recommend training centers if you have no problems working on weekends or you have no problems working at night then that might be for you but it's not for me and I don't recommend it so yeah check you can check that video out to see what training centers are all about so mention your experience next thing is you want to mention your teaching styles right if you have just that if you if you've never been in a classroom but you know you tutored someone that counts as experience and then you can just you know research some different teaching styles and see which one suits you best and you say my teaching styles are blah 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 and that's good enough you know for them to have an idea what what you can do the next thing is the last thing is you can include that you love working with people from different cultures and so on and so forth so they can see or feel or know that you know you won't have such a big issue working with chinese people chinese students chinese parents and so on and really that's enough for your video your intro video should be at least well more than 30 seconds if it's well it should be one minute one minute is the recommended time one minute if it's going to be more than one minute one minute 30 seconds one minute 40 seconds is fine but known two three four five minutes video it is not necessary you can save that for your demo video if you wish to make a demo video which will give you a boost right if you have a demo video others only have intro video then they will see what your teaching style is really like not just what you say it's like and so you'll get a push above other teachers of course that will give you an edge so that can your demo video can be at least five minutes but your intro video one minute or no more than two minutes as a matter of fact no more than one minute 40 seconds your intro video doesn't need to be long. Usually when recruiters get your stuff, your stuff, they're sent into groups where the many schools are in the groups, the, either the principal, the HR, or the recruiting staff member is there. When they get your intro video, they play that no one is going to listen to an intro video for five, 10 minutes, one minute or one minute, 30 seconds, I'd recommend. And once you do that, once that catches their eye, you look bubbly in it, smile a lot, you know, be vibrant, look bubbly. Once you do that, that catches their attention, then they'll let the recruiter know, we'd like to schedule an interview with this teacher. You do the interview, after the interview, now you know what, 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 right? But well, that's it for your intro video. I will share my intro videos, two intro videos with you now. 
you can let me know what you think about them in the comment section they'll make me cringe a bit because I don't have done these like a long time ago and I the only thing I think I think for those videos it included everything I spoke about here but I just wasn't as bubbly but otherwise everything was like good so yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching i hope these videos i hope you will learn something from these videos and you will have an excellent intro video you can still send me your intro video on instagram i can still listen to it critique and let you know so that's it guys see you i need to go back to my job goodbye hi my name is romali Rowe. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Jamaica where English is an official language. Currently, I live and work in Sichuan, China. I have been an English teacher here for the past two academic years. So far, I have taught over 1,500 students at the middle school level. Plus, I have previous experience from my home country. I have a bachelor's degree and a 120 hours TEFL certificate. I believe I'm the perfect teacher for this job because I'm very creative, I'm very fun, and I make all my lessons very interesting. My teaching styles are very dynamic and I specialize in vocabulary, pronunciation, and ensuring that all my students develop in their listening and speaking communication skills. I love engaging with people from different cultures and I look forward to working with you. Hi, my name is Romali Rowe. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Jamaica where English is our official language. I have a bachelor's degree and a 120 hours TEFL certificate. Currently, I live and work in Sichuan, China. I have been a middle school teacher here in China for two academic years. Right now, I am a kindergarten teacher. I believe that all learners are different and so I tailor all my lessons to suit all types of learners. My teaching styles are very dynamic and I make all my lessons very interesting. I use things such as TPR, total physical response to demonstrate what words mean as I say them. For example, cut. As an ESL teacher, I will ensure that all my students develop in their listening and communication skills. I love working with people from different cultures and I look forward to working with you.